Hello, welcome to Own or Disown. And uh, today I am going to show you how to make a wireless cable free virtual reality backpack. How much is that going to cost? Uh, I hear you say. Well, not a thousand dollars like MSI or uh, or two thousand dollars like uh, Intel are doing MSI and ASUS and all them guys. If you got a laptop, you can do it for two hundred dollars. What you need is, I think it's a, it's like a, a mesh back sack, as it were. There's you know, a couple of nice draw skins, uh, strings here. You can put over your back like that. Okay. Benefit about that, it's lightweight. Most importantly though, it's got holes in the middle, or holes in it so that uh, your laptop can breathe, eh? Because it's gonna get hot. Um, so that's the first thing you need. Next thing you need is the HTC headset needs to be powered. So you've got the, uh, the usual HDMI cable, you've got the USB cable from here, they plug into your laptop, but you've got a power cable. So what do you need there? You need a portable power bank. So uh, ChargeTech have one. Uh, it's a 27,000 milliamp hour battery. And uh, I mean, not only does it have uh, the usual USB ports for charging uh, phones and things like that, it also has, let's uh, take this uh, up there. It also has a regular AC adapter. So you just put any plug in there, which is, which is great. So this is where you plug in the, uh, for the power for there now to keep it in I mean you can have other mechanisms I just use tape I taped it on very scientific of course so I did that and then of course all the rest of the cables and the control box here for the um, for the Vive I um, taped together into a big clump so as to make it a little bit smaller spend a bit more time you might be able to find a more elegant solution uh, and then, of course, the necessary ports plug into the, uh, your laptop. So your, your HDMI and mine would plug into the back of the laptop here, like uh, like so. Like that. And um, then you go to the USB port. Plug into your USB port on your computer. Like that and then you're ready to go basically all you got to do then is put it in here now one thing I did encounter I set uh, in my laptop when closing the screen but not to go to sleep not to turn the display off thought I'd be golden well if no I was still getting an image on the on the headset um, the image wasn't quite right wasn't something was Something strange was happening. So what I found I had to do, wedge something in the joint here. That's what I did. I used, I used a Jedi Knight lightsaber, but a bit more time, perhaps a bit of foam there might be quite good. You know, so much so that, you know, you don't, it doesn't close fully like that. And uh, you're good to go, and then it all will fit into uh, the backpack quite nicely, really. Um, so you start off by, of course, you've got to plug in your headset, headphones. Um, all right, get the opening here. So you squeeze that in there. Now one thing I didn't do, and you'll learn from experience, is to have the heating vents of the laptop which are at the back here, not against your back. I did. At mine were, it was against my back and my back did get started getting warm. Um, 
after about an hour of gameplay. That's how long the battery lasted of my laptop. He's going to then all just shove in here. And you get. You know. You get them all down the bottom there. But of course it's thin like that. In the backpack you've got your heads. <laughs> Headphones. Your backpack. And your headset. And you were just, you just put it on. I don't want to stand up, but basically, yeah, yeah, you're there, yeah. You can wear it. You could do with an extra pair of hang and hands because there's so many things dangling down, like the headphones and things. But may not be the most elegant solution. But you know, total weight of of this is probably about nine pounds for me. Six and a half pounds for the laptop, and uh, about two pounds for the power bank uh, brick there bag weighs nothing um, so to be honest it didn't uh, affect me in terms of being uncomfortable the only thing that was perhaps slightly uncomfortable was the heat coming out of my laptop um, so but if you have it the other way around it might not be so bad but it you know that worked quite, quite a treat so it certainly is a good solution um, if you have um, you know your primary computer is your laptop i mean if you work you can order laptops now with a, te uh, a 1060 graphics card that's going to produce less heat probably better about your life battery life you know and that's it could be a good option if you've got a desktop and you're running from your desktop that's probably the best way to stay but um but certainly there's no cables to mess around with it's all inside this sack so great so let me uh, show you a video and uh, if you like this video, please uh, click here for, to subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I'd like to thank all my subscribers to date. Thank you very much. Um, so, see you shortly. Yeah, firstly, I just want to apologize that I didn't realize that I had to uh, reconfigure my play space uh, from my last uh, setup. Um, so consequently, you'll see that I'm a bit squished up against the, uh, against the wall most of the time. Um, occasionally I did step out of my, my play space, but I was uh, finding that I was uh, bashing into walls and everything like that. So um, at least this gives you a little bit of an idea that uh, what it's like to uh, to carry the backpack on your back. And it uh, certainly was was comfortable, wasn't uh, heavy. Um, the heat uh, initially didn't cause any problem, but uh, certainly when I was getting towards the uh, hour of my uh, gameplay, um, I, I could feel the heat uh, on my back. So. Um, that is probably an issue. Um, I was, like I said, I was getting uh, about an hour in the gameplay um, from my laptop battery, um, but uh, the battery that powering the headset was still powering strong, so uh, that uh, that was a good solution, that for sure. Um, but yeah, no white, no cables tangling me around, so I think uh, that worked out uh, quite well. So I um, hope uh, um, perhaps you can spend a bit of time and perhaps adapt the system a little bit for you. To conclude, I think this is a cheap alternative way of creating a wireless system. If uh, your laptop is your primary gaming device, this could be a good option for you, particularly if you have it uh, set up permanently. So um, if you uh, like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.